Hey guys, it's the Daily Dong Finder. This is Steve with Slurve, here to bring you the best home run candidates per my home run model for tonight. Um, we've had some crazy action the last few days. Man, Danny Valencia with three yesterday, Corey Seager had two, uh, Brandon Guerre, and Ge Geyer, God, I can't get that guy's name right, had two. Um, so... Some of the names at the top aren't really too surprising. Uh, a lot of those guys are poised to keep rolling. Uh, Seager puts up an 86. Um, Ortiz also, David Ortiz also homered in his last game. He puts up an 85. Um, you know, it's never really a much of a call to say that that Big Poppy is likely to hit a home run. Um, Geyer, still, <coughs> still a good chance at 85. Um, Valencia, you know, I, I think he might have kind of run out the tank. He's still a 78 in the model, but some of the indicators that I like to use are kind of waning there. So I think he, he kind of might be out of steam um, and is sort of due for a little regression the other way back now. Um, so I'm not, not so super keen on him, but going by positions, um, I still don't know if Chris Herman's going to be in the lineup, but if he's not, I'm going to be really mad at Arizona. He's a 91. He's the top overall rated player in the Dong Finder. He's got just about everything. Uh, going for him, including the matchup with uh, pitcher making his first major league start, um, and, and just and Arizona being uh, the launching pad that it is, and having a uh, 84 temperature today, which is just great, great weather for hitting. Um, first base, you know, like I said, Ortiz is a very good candidate, but going a little bit off the grid there. I really like Byung Ho Park. Um, against Zimmerman, who has a 46% fly ball rate in his last two starts, um, and his speed is down one mile an hour over his 12-month average. So uh, I think he is definitely due for some regression. He's priced ridiculously highly, and he has been putting up good performances, but the underlying numbers aren't there. Uh, and I think a guy like Young Ho Park, who we know has double dong upside, can, um, can definitely take advantage of that. Um, second base, you know, at first I said I don't think there's much here, but I actually really like Gene Segura. Um, and going back to that, that Arizona thing, I mean, just perfect weather and stadium. Uh, Segura rates an 80. Um, his hard hit percentage is, is up significantly, almost twice what it normally is. Um, and prior to the last two games in which he's gone hitless, he was on an 11-game hit streak. Uh, so he's clearly making contact, and now he's also hitting the ball really hard. Uh, so I feel like that's a good combination that, along with Arizona's weather and stuff, could lead to a Gene Segura dong. Um, <clears throat> third base, you know, I mentioned I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of souring on Valencia personally, um, but there, there there are some good options. You know, I've heard Donaldson talked around, but I really like Longoria in terms of of home run potential. Um, he's really good against lefties. Uh, he's got the additional bonus of of the stadium in Toronto being good for righties. He had a home run yesterday that might have gotten overshadowed by Valencia's three and and uh, Geyer's two. Um, so I, I think he could be a sneaky sneaky way to get at somebody who's who's hitting a lot of home runs right now. Um, this guy's never really known to hit a whole lot of home runs. Although looking back, you know he's got three in his last 15 games, which is not horrible. Xander Bogertz, uh, you know, like I mentioned, Corey Seager was def definitely my top kind of pick at this, but, you know, the picking the guy who hit two yesterday just doesn't seem like a whole lot of fun to me. Uh, so, you know, remember that Seager is an excellent play too, but um, I like Bogertz against Ventura, who's not been pitching particularly well. Um, he doesn't have a really high, high fly ball rate, which is a bit concerning, but there's not a whole lot else to like at shortstop beyond um, Corey Seager. Uh, and Bogertz did hit one either in the last game or the game before that. So he's he's definitely hitting it hard. And, you know, if if I have to make a call at shortstop beyond Seager, it's Xander Bogertz. Uh, and then I got a couple guys in the outfield that I really like today. I'm picking on Chad Green. Uh, Yasmani Tom, Tomas is a 78. Um, he has got a lot of the indicators that I like the most. I'm going to be very interested in seeing what he can do with that tonight. Um, I really like him. Perhaps a little bit less uh, of an, well, I don't even know if Tomas is an out there pick. But uh, Christian Yelich, um, he's a 75 in the model going up against Eikhoff, who is much, much worse against left-handed batters. And 
his Eikhoff's fly ball percent recently has not been so bad. It's, I think, in the mid-20s or so, but it is due for some serious regression. Um, and I was looking on fan graphs, and his career is somewhere in the high 30s to low 40s. So we get a few more fly balls in there. We've got Yelich hitting the ball really well and making some nice contact. Um, and I think that could result in some dongs going out of the park. So that's all I got for today's Dong Finder. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, come on by the Slurve chat, slurve.com, and we will talk about some more possible candidates. And um, come back tomorrow for my cash game video and another edition of the Daily Dong Finder. Thanks. Good luck.